The fiber tape surclage system is a non-metallic alternative to metal cables and wires traditionally used for fracture management during trauma and reconstruction procedures. Its high-strength all-suture design and biomechanical properties make fiber tape surclage an ideal adjunct for stabilization and fixation of periprosthetic femur fractures. Use a fiber tape surclage passing hook to pass the surclage suture and place the hook around the bone. Advance the passing hook's nitinol suture eyelet. Load the fiber tape surclage suture tail into the eyelet of the passing hook along with the tail end of a tiger link suture. Retract the nitinol eyelet and pull the hook back around the bone and unload the sutures from the eyelet. Next, the tail of the fiber tape surclage suture is loaded into the loop of the tiger link. The tail of the tiger link is then pulled to shuttle the fiber tape surclage around the bone for a second pass. Place approximately 2 cm to 3 cm of the fiber tape suture tails into the nitinol loop attached to the loader. Separate the two tabs of the loader, pulling the nitinol loop and the fiber tape suture tails through the knot. Once the tails are through the knot, uncleat the remaining suture and remove the knot from the loader. The swedged part of the suture is then cut to separate the two limbs. The knot is then slid down to the bone to hand tighten the suture and remove the gross slack from the surclage loops. Position the knot so that it does not interfere with the placement of other implants, such as plates or strut rafts. The suture limbs are then loaded into the tensioner. One limb is inserted through the bottom hole at the tip of the tensioner and the other limb through the slot on the top. Place the tip of the tensioner down to the bone and directly on top of the knot. Wrap one suture tail at least twice around the main body of the suture wing and then secure the tail in the cleat. Repeat this step for the second suture tail. Begin tensioning the fiber tape by turning the handle clockwise. As tension is created, notice the gauge lines on the back of the tensioner. Continue to apply the necessary amount of tension, making sure not to over-tension. Watch the gauge lines on the back of the tensioner and do not tension beyond the fourth line. Once tension is achieved, remove the tensioner by turning the handle counterclockwise until the suture limbs around the suture wings loosen. Unwrap the suture tails from the suture wings. A half hitch is tied to secure the knot and aid in retaining the surclage's tension. Additional surclage may be added if necessary, following the same steps as previously shown. After the initial tensioning is performed and the first half hitch is applied, each surclage may be retensioned. The suture limbs are reloaded into the tensioner and the surclage is tensioned to the desired tension. Two alternating half hitches are tied and the suture limbs are cut. After the fiber tape surclage is used to reduce the fracture, a fracture plate may be placed directly over the fiber tape surclage. If necessary, the fiber tape surclage may also be used to support fixation of the plate in areas where screws cannot be placed or where additional compression is needed to aid in stabilization and fracture healing.